Hello, hello, welcome. Can you hear me? Yes. ¿Me escuchan? Muy bien. Bueno, vamos a esperar a los compañeros que ingresen. Estamos a un, un par de estudiantes. Somos tres. Ok, vamos a esperar dos minutos para dar inicio a la clase número siete. Okay, well, in the previous class, in the class anterior, estudiamos un poco acerca de sport. Eh, también los abrevios de frecuencia. Vamos a continuar. Okay, estaba revisando las tareas. Eh, y al Mr. Maximiliano ya tiene completada toda la actividad. Muy bien, muchas gracias. Okay. This is okay. Now, lo que damos ayer en el uso de can y can't, ¿verdad? Dijimos que can y can eh, es pertenece a los verbos modales, a los modal verbs, en los cuales se utiliza para expresar habilidad o eh, per permiso, podemos llamar. Okay, can. En Kent. Kent, en Kent. Vamos a explicar un poco este día. Ok, Kent y Kent. También hacemos un poco las WH question. Las WH question. Ok, eh, dijimos que tenemos las WH questions son aquellas que nos ayudan a poder eh, crear preguntas, por ejemplo, para decir dónde, cuándo, quién, de quién. Ok, eh, let's remember the use of can and can. Ok, para hacer eh, la forma negativa, únicamente vamos a utilizar la contracción. Que la contracción es can, cannot, pero hacer la forma reducida suena can't. Por ejemplo, I can't draw. En el número dos, ¿cuál sería? Number two, I, I can. I can act. Number two, number three, I can't. Can. I can't. Sing. I can't sing. Number four. I can. I can. I can fix cars. Very good. I can fix cars. Number five. I. I can't, can't play. I can't. I can't. Right. I can't. I can't play tennis. Number six. I. I, I can. can. I can. Ice skating. I can't ice skate very well. In number seven. 
I, I can, can I can play. I can play piano. the piano. Number eight. I can, I can cook at all. I can't cook at all. Let me see. Okay, eh, basado en las imágenes que están acá, créenme, dos oraciones afirmativas y dos oraciones negativas utilizando can y can, usando las imágenes. For example, in my case, I can swim, I can, let me see, I can take pictures, but I can't sing and I can't play the piano. How about you, Mr. Maximilian? I can sing, okay. I can draw, uh, I can cook, but I can cook, and I can dance. You can't, or you can? I can't. All right, you can't dance. In the parties? No. <laughs> you, dan you don't dance in the parties. Okay, how about no. Miss Fatima? I can cook and I can swim. And you, you can swim. I can. And right. I can't play piano and I can't dance. All right, you can't dance. Just in the parties. Miss yeah. <laughs> Miss Alicia, tell me the four sentences, two negative and two affirmative. A negative. Okay. I can't piano. I can't dance. Dance, dance. Dance. I can cook. I can't swimming. Good. No, swim. El verbo tiene que ir en infinitivo. I can't swim. Okay. I can run. I can swim. Okay. Good. All right. Ok, aquí tenemos eh, diferentes word map with abilities and talent from the list. Por ejemplo, acá al lado izquierdo tenemos bake a cake, que significa hornear un pastel o realizar un pastel, preparar un pastel. Design a web page. Ok, do gymnastic. Gym no sé si saben qué es gymnastic. Eh, gimnasia. Exactly. Fix a car. Preparar. Fix a car. Vehicle. Fix a motorcycle. Uh, uh, paint pictures. Playing the violin. Ride a horse. Sing, sing English song. Uh, surf. Tell good jokes. Ok. Dice, completa el mapa con habilidades y talentos de la lista. Ok. Okay, for example, musical or artistic. What are musical or artistic? Play a violin. Play a violin, okay. Sing a sing a sing English song, okay. Uh, Paint pictures. Paint pictures, very good. All right, how about technical or mechanical? Uh, Design a website. website. All right, design a website. 
É. Fix, fix a car. Fix a car. Fix a car, what else? Fix a motorcycle too, right? Yes. yes. Okay, uh, how about athletic? Uh, surf. Surf, very good. Do gymnastic. Do gymnastic. Um, yes. Okay, other. Um, other. Play, play chess. Play chess. Um, ride a horse, I guess. Ride a horse. Mm -hmm. And tell good jokes. All right, tell good jokes. Good. Very good. Okay, ahí tenemos el uso de Ken y Ken. All right, vamos a ir al website. Un segundo. I'm going to share my screen. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer questions using can for ability. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I can't sing very well. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I can't sing. Oh, look. There's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no. I can't sing at all. But I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure. Why not? Okay. Let's practice tomorrow. Now let's analyze the examples on this chart. Can for ability. I can sing very well. You can sing very well. He can sing very well. She can't sing at all. We can't sing at all. They can't sing at all. Can you sing? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Can I sing? Yes, you can. No, you can't. Can he sing? Yes, he can. No, he can't. Can she sing? Yes, she can. No, she can't. Can we sing? Yes, we can. No, we can't. Can they sing? Yes, they can. No, they can't. What can I do? You can sing. Who can sing? Philip can. I would like to explain the usage of can. We can use can to express some kind of ability, whether that is related to sports, professional, something artistic, or something special. Singing is something that only a few people can do, and most people can't. In my case, I can't sing at all. Let me get started by explaining how to form statements with can. To do this, we can follow this formula. Subject plus can or can't plus the verb plus complement. Now let's analyze a couple of examples. I can sing very well. Uh, the subject is I. Then we're going to add can. After that, we have the verb sing. Uh, finally, we have a complement. Let's analyze one more example. She can't sing at all. The subject is she. Then we're going to add can't. After that, we have the verb sing. Finally, we can include a complement at all. 
Now let's learn how to form questions using can. To do this, we can follow this formula. The auxiliary can plus subject plus the verb plus a complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples to make sure we understand this topic. Can you sing? First, we need to add the auxiliary can. After that, we include the subject. Next, we have the verb sing and a question mark. Finally, we can include a complement. In these examples, there is no complement, but we could add something like at home. These are yes or no questions. So the way to answer this type of questions is quite simple. For the question, can you sing, we can answer positively by saying, yes, I can. And we can answer negatively by saying, no, I can't. Let's analyze one last example. Can he sing? First, we need the auxiliary verb can. After that, we include the subject he. Next, we have the verb sing and a question mark at the end. We can answer positively by saying, yes, he can. And we can answer negatively by saying, no, he can't. Now it's your turn to practice using can and can't. I would like for you to talk about your abilities and the abilities of your friends, family, and co-workers. For example, I can play tennis, but I can't play basketball. My co-worker can design websites. but he can't program. My daughter can play the piano, but she can't sing. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Well, that is part of the can and can explanation. All right, vamos a ir rápidamente a tomar la asistencia de este día. Vamos a comenzar con Miss Alicia. She's here. Thank you for present. Us. Thank you, Miss. Well, let me see. Miss Fatima Roxana Rivera. Present. Okay. Well, Mr. Roberto Antonio. Present. You, Mr. And Mr. Jose Ramon. Present. Well, and Mr. Maximiliano. Present. Good, thank you. All right. Recordarle a los que están pendiendo con las tareas, poderlas realizar este día para que mañana sea más rápida la transición al siguiente módulo. Ok, vamos a hacer una pequeña práctica de can y can't. Okay, hold on, please. Can and can. Recordarles que can es para expresar habilidad. Okay. O eh, permiso. Okay, hold on, please. Un segundo. Okay. Voy a compartir el link. Acá está el link. Me indica si lo pueden abrir. Yes, no. Ok, here we go.
No. La primera es quién y la segunda es quién. Y si se fija, pues no, si aparece con el chequecito de que sí puede conducir un vehículo. Sí, can drive a car. El número 5 es sitting. Ken. Sitting Ken. She can do pushers, but she can, she can drive a car. Bueno, se puede conducir un vehículo. El número 6, Ibrahim, is the kind of tree. Vamos a ver si puede. Kind of tree. Uh, he can't. He can't die. The number seven, Ride a bike. Yeah. Yes, he can. He can ride a bike. Uh, the cousins, no, he can. He can do cousins. Number eight, push no. Can dive. Can dive. Drive a car. Yes, you can. But he can drive a car. Number nine. Abraham. Can. Can. But I. But he can. He, una bicicleta ¿no? can. pero yeah, can. Mm -hmm. Se la pega sería can't va ajá pero si sí puede hacer un túnel but si can está en el octavo can can't 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 Can drive, but he can't drive a car. See what? Ibrahim, no, Ibrahim, no puede, I can't. Pero si puede hacer un puzzle. No, no es si no trae Ibrahim. Climb a tree, no sé. Si puede, ¿verdad? Ibrahim. Ah, no, no puede. En la décima. Ah, la de... ah, yo en la nueve estoy, espérame. Ah. En la primera, la nueve es Ken. Ajá, y en la segunda es Ken. Ajá, ajá, ajá. En la décima dice que no puede. O puede, quiero decir, climb a tree. Si puede, pero no puede manejar un carro. Sí, va. En los Java, Tyrion. A ver, Siri, no puede. No puede, no puede sumergirse. Pero sí puede manejar una bicicleta. Y la décima, Fiusnus, Maravillus, puede subir un árbol. Ah, sí, en ese scan. Uh -huh. Pero no puede manejar una bicicleta. Ahí estamos. ¿no? Ahí estamos. Demos el finish. Y vamos a ver. ¡Ah! ¡Ey! ¿En qué? ¿Por qué me equivoqué en esa? En la primera te salió. Sí, en la séptima, no. Espera, espera, espera. En la primera me salió en rojo, en la segunda. <risa> yeah. Sin. Espera, decir. ¿Qué? Me va a ir a ver. Good the can. Die. Ah, sí. Ah, no me fijé bien en los chequecitos de arriba. Me más salió una en rojo. Ah, mi cuatro. Pues, pues. <risa> bueno, ocho. Que ya estuvo ya. Ahí estamos. No me fijé, no le fijé, no me fijé bien los chequecitos de arriba, no lo he entendido de volada. Ay.
Are you done? Finish. Yes. Okay. Yes. Ok, vamos a ver la práctica. Okay. Eh, no sé si el grupo número uno, compuesto por Miss Alicia, Fátima y eh, Mr. Maximiliano, pueden compartir pantalla para ver cómo fue el resultado de la práctica de quién en quién. And can you share a screen? Can you repeat? Can you share a screen? Nope. Okay, how about a group number was number two, composed by Mr. Ramon, Mr. Roberto. Uh -huh. ¿Cuánto fue la nota? Eight. Eight. ¿Pueden compartir yes. la pantalla? No pueden. Yes. All right, thank you. Chat, 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 chat. Sprint. Can you see? Ah, okay, Siri. Ah. Uh, okay, no problem, but you did good. <laughs> Muy bien. That is all? That's all, thank you. Okay. Very good. Okay, let's, uh, let's go straight to another point. Check. Okay, vamos a ver. Race. Race. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll read an article about four unique American races. You'll also develop skills in reading for specific information. Race the U.S. Climb the stairs of New York City's Empire State Building in the Empire State Building run-up. The climb is 1,050 feet, 320 meters, 86 floors, or 1,575 steps. Winners can reach the top in just 10 to 11 minutes. Can you? Take 8 or 10 days to race across America, from Irvine, California, to Savannah, Georgia. Cross the entire U.S. in this 2,900-mile, 4,667-kilometer bicycle race. In this race, there are no timeouts for sleep. For 8 to 10 days, racers can sleep only about 3 hours each day. Race on the exciting white waters of the Arkansas River in the Downriver Race. Winners complete the 25.7 miles, 41.5 kilometers, in just 2 hours. This is the longest downriver race in the U.S. One person, one boat, take the challenge. Only possible in Alaska, the Iditarod Sled Dog Race. Race from downtown Anchorage to Nome, over 1,150 miles, 1,850 kilometers, through cold, wind, and snow. Winners usually finish the course in 9 to 12 days and receive cash prizes. Ahora no solo. Page 69. Ok. Here it is. Page 69. All right, it says, take eight or 10 days to race across America from California to Savannah, Georgia. Cross the entire U.S. in these 2,900 miles. 
4,667 kilometers bicycle race. In this race, there are not time out for sleep. For eight to 10 days, racers can sleep only about three hours each day. Climb this, this stairs of New York City, the Empire State Building in the Empire State Building run up. Uh, the climb is 1,050 feet, 320 meters, 86 floors, or 1,575 steps. Winners, winners can reach the top in just 10 to 11 minutes. Can you? Are you ready? <laughs> All right. Race on the exciting white water of the Arkansas River in the Down River Race. Winner complete the 25, seven mile, 40, 41, five kilometers in just two hours. This is the longest, the longest Down River race in the US. One person on boat take the challenge. Only possible in Alaska, the Iriora Sleep Dog Race. Jesus. Race from downtown Ar Arcade to Nome over 1,550 miles, 1,850 kilometers through cold, wine, and snow. Wind and snow. Winner usually finish the course in nine to 12 days and receive cash price prices. Very good. Okay, uh, the Empire State Building run up. What is the place? Donde es el lugar? Where yeah. is the place? Empire State Building. Okay, the Empire State Building. Good. How about, let me see, how about the, the distance? What is the distance? 1,050 feet. 1,050 feet. Or three hundred twenty meters. One hundred three hundred twenty meters. Good. About race across America. What is the place? Race across America. Uh, Irving, California to Savannah, Georgia. Excellent. In where is the distance? Two thousand nine hundred miles, or 4,667 kilometers. Kilometers, okay. Excellent. Let me see, how about Down River Race? Um, Arkansas River. Good. Okay, the yeah. distance? 1,056 and 320 meters. Good, excellent, very good. And the last one, it your ID tour sleep dog race. Alaska. Right. The Where distance. Alaska? Oh, this is very long. Yes. One hundred, one thousand, one hundred and fifty miles. And 1,880,850 kilometers. All right. Good. Excellent. All right. Uh, let's. All right. Okay, let's see. Okay, all right. Now, let's see the snack survey. Como ya estudiamos los adverbios de frecuencia, por ejemplo, always, ¿qué dijimos que significaba? Siempre. Siempre. Usually? Usually, usually. 80%. 80. Sometimes? 60. 50. 50, 60. 50, 60, okay. Yeah. And hardly ever? 30, 20% to 30%. Okay, mm. and never, that's zero yeah. possibility, right? Okay, vamos a poner con cuánta frecuencia 
usted consume estos snacks. El punto es utilizar los adverbios de frecuencia y utilizar el vocabulario. Por ejemplo, how often do you eat popcorn? Or do you ever have popcorn as a snack? Yes, I always have popcorn. Or no, I, or yes, I usually have cookies. Entonces, el propósito es que utilizamos vocabulario de comida y los adverbios de frecuencia. ¿Con cuánta frecuencia usted consume estos? Como el ejemplo, yes, I always have popcorn in the, in the break. How often? How, la pregunta sería, how often do you eat or do you have chocolate? How often do you eat potato chips? How often do you eat apples? Okay, let's practice this part.
All right, let's get started. Let's see how often how often you eat this kind, this sort, sort of food. For example, we have cup popcorn, we have cookies, chocolate, bananas, potato chips, apples. And how often, let's see how often you you eat. For example, Miss, okay, let's see, Miss Fatima, Miss Maximiliano, uno de ustedes se lo pregunta y el otro contesta. Okay. Ready? Ready. Okay, there you go. And Fatima, how often do you eat popcorn? I sometimes eat popcorn. Uh, how often do you eat cookies? I usually eat cookies. How often do you eat chocolate? I usually eat chocolate. Uh, how often do you eat bananas? I hardly ever eat bananas. How often do you eat potato chips? Potatoes. I sometimes eat yeah. potato chips. Uh, how often do you eat apples? I sometimes eat apples. All right, excellent. Let me see. How about oh, Jesus, Miss Dos. Okay, Miss Fatima, can you please ask the question to Mr. Jose Ramon, please? How often do you eat popcorn? Um, eh, I hardly ever eat popcorns. I hardly ever what? Eat popcorns. Ah, okay. How often do you eat cookies? I usually eat the cookies. How often do you eat chocolate? Chocolate. Uh, I hardly ever eat chocolate. <laughs> How often do you eat banana? Mm, I sometimes eat banana. How often do you eat potato chips? Um, I never eat potato chips. And how often do you eat apples? I usually uh, eat apples at work. <laughs> at work, okay. Uh, All right, good. Okay, so let me see. Okay, for example, let's do this exercise. Here we have a chef, we have a mechanic, we have an artist, we have a musician. Okay, and we, we have to follow this example. Vamos a seguir este ejemplo. It is a, a chef can cook very well. A chef can also bake things like cake. Also, a chef can uh, prepare good dishes. Ahora que ustedes me tienen que hacer es, ¿qué cosas puede ser un mecánico? Okay. A, a, a mechanic can, a mechanic can, all Fix right. Vamos a darles un par. Ah, ok, Mr. Maxfiliano. Go ahead, Mr. Maxfiliano. A mechanic can fix a car. Fix a car? A mechanic can, can also fix a motorcycle. Motorcycle, good. Also, a mechanic can repair uh, some machines. Some machine, ok, good. How about the artist, Mr. Jose Ramon? Uh, an artist uh, can paint. All right. And also an artist can play the, pa the piano. The and piano. I guess uh, an artist uh, can read music too. All right. Can read. Sí, yes. Excellent. Exactly. They can read. Music, okay, excellent. How about, let me see. Well, we already do this. Okay, let's keep practicing. Vamos a seguir practicando. Okay, hold on, please. Un segundo. Okay. 
you see class. Hold on, please. Dame un segundo. Ok, tenemos la conversación. Creo que ayer no, no revisamos la conversación. Y era conversation. I can't think. Oh, look. There's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thing. Well, you can too. Oh, no. I can't sing at all. But I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter to the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Let's practice tomorrow. Vamos a pedirle a Mr. Maximiliano y a Mr. José Ramón. Mr. Maximiliano, he's Kyla, and Mr. José Ramón, he is Philip. Okay. Okay. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no. I can sing at all, but I can't play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Okay, now Mr. Jose Ramon and Ms. Mati. So Mr. Jose Ramon, he is Kayla now, and Miss Fatima, she is Philip. Okay. Uh, oh, look, there is a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no, I can't sing at all, but, but I can play the piano. Excellent. Very good. Now, Miss Fatima, she's Kyla, and Mr. Maximiliano, he is Philip. Oh, look, there is a talent conference on Saturday. Let's enter. I can enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no, I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, right now. Okay, let's press this. Let's press this tomorrow. Very good, excellent, good pronunciation and fluency. Okay, give me a second, please. Let me see. Hold on, please. Hold on. Okay. Vamos a practicar un poco los adverbios de frecuencia. Hold on, please. Voy a compartir con ustedes un link. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, aquí vamos. Okay, acá está el link. Lo pueden visualizar.
Can you join to the game? I got Jose. Thank you, mister. Hmm. I got two players. Can I say far? Miss Fatima. I need to a code. The code. Yeah. The code is 081044. 34044. Here it is. 081. 044. Okay, there we go. Excellent.
yet. Yes. Okay. I suck on this game. On that. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, let's see. Mr. Jose, their position, Mr. Max, second, and the winner, Miss Fatima. Okay, congratulations to Miss Fatima. Ah, okay. Thank you. Let's see. Okay, we're going to have another one because vamos a incrementar el promedio. Okay, let's see. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, please. Okay, vamos a, en este, vamos a escribir un poco. Gordarles la tercera persona del singular más el adverbio de frecuencia en su posición correcta. Ok. Acá, Acá está el link, vamos a practicar un poco. Ready, Mr. Max. He's yes, I'm ready. What is the call, teacher? I have problem with the call. Uh, all right, sure, right now. There you have. It. Okay. Is you. Ready. Ready. Okay, let's start. Jesus, it's about to rain. Okay, vamos.
Okay, this was more difficult, right? So more difficult. Okay, yes. vamos a ver. Peter, ah, I'm not sure screen. I saw, I saw. It's okay. Uh, number one, Peter, what is the correct form here? Peter? I don't know. It is on time. On time. Listen. Listen. Nobody. Peter, sometimes listen. Listen. Okay. Well, oh, the daily routine was kind of difficult. Okay. Just reloading what happened here. Okay, vamos a tener otra práctica. No, okay. No, no. no okay. okay yes. My goodness is... Uh, what happened here? A uh, page not found. What is that? The page you were looking for is mm. not available. Feature the page is not available. It's not available. Can you see? No. Refresh. I think maybe it's because um, in the link, the last part is not, it's not, it's not taken uh, as, a, as a link. No, hold on, hold on. How about now? Try. Oh, hi. Yes. Ah. Can you now? Yes. Yes. Let's try to do this in the computer, maybe. No, no. I shared the link in WhatsApp right there. Okay, let me let me let me see this. Yeah. Okay, try with this. Yes. Again, we well done. Can you open the link? Yes, I can. Yes. Yes. Press on simple, please.
when you finish, let me know, please. Are you done? Not yet. Not yet. Good. Ready? No yet. Not yet.
All right, let's do the first part together. For example, in this case, it is I eat or I eat. I eat. I eat. You rarely drink or rarely drinks? Drink. Drink. Pamela like or Pamela likes? Likes. likes. Uh, Richard and Paul? Likes. 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 Are you sure? Yes. Like. Like. It is like. Okay. Uh, because it's a compound subject. Okay. Peter. Uh, adore or adores? Adores. adores. Susan never? Has. 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 Fill with the present simple of the verb given. Harry. Harry. It's. It's. Violet. Kate. Kate. They. It. It. Eat. Children usually. Like. like. Daniel. Enjoys. 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 I always. Eat. 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 We usually drink. 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 All right. Fill in with do or does. Do or does. Do. Do. All right. Do. Do you like salad? Does. Does Paul like peas? Do. Do. Do they eat bananas? Does Charlie drink this? Does Charlie drink juice? Does your cat drink milk? Does your cat drink milk? And um, does Sally like cheese? Does Sally like cheese? Very good. Rewrite the sentence in the interrogative form. Interrogative form. They prepare dinner. Do they prepare dinner? Do they prepare dinner? Question mark. Number two. Do Sally and Alan like broccoli? Do Sally and Alan like broccoli? Number three, David drinks lemonade. Does David? Drink lemonade. Drink. Okay. En la forma pregunta. Eh, Drink lemonade. El verbo, el verbo regresa a su forma más. Yes. Does David drink lemonade? Emma likes peach. Does Emma like peaches? Peach. Peach. Does Emma like peaches? Okay, Mark. Doesn't. 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 Bella. Doesn't. Doesn't. Mark and I. Don't. Don't. My mother. Does. Doesn't. Doesn't. David and Philip. Done. I don't. I don't. I don't eat lettuce. 
Rewrite the sentence in negative form. I don't eat orange. I don't eat orange. Here. Kate likes Kate. butter. Kate doesn't Kate like doesn't butter. Like butter. Julie and Gary drink much water. Julie and Julie and Gary don't drink don't. water at all. At all. Don't. Okay, Julie and Gary don't drink much water. Okay. Write the sentence according to the symbol. Does Rita like strawberries? Yes, she does. Yes, she does. She does. yes. Oh, yes she does. She yes. does. does. Okay, do they eat yogurt? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. All right, Susie, does Susie like garlic soup? No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Okay, does your brother eat lunch at, at home? No, 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 he doesn't. Do your parents prepare meals? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Does Sophie like fish? No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Oh, no, she doesn't. I'm sorry. <laughs> No, she doesn't. Okay, let's see. Mm. Okay, no, cat likes that's cool. but it's okay. Like, yeah, ah, two likes like. was missing the verb, right? The verb, right? He doesn't like butter, yeah. Here, what is this? <laughs> I, I don't know because. Maybe they capture a letter, maybe they... No, I don't know. Maybe because... And this, you write the E instead of O. No, he doesn't. Do uh, Gary doubled R, right? Here. Gary has double and R misspelling. No, he doesn't. Mm, don't know. Yeah. Okay, but we got good grade. Excellent. Okay. Hold on, please. It's raining a lot here. No, I didn't see the photo. No, I didn't see the photo. Ok, vamos a ver qué tal la adquisición del presente simple. Ok, les tengo una práctica. Vamos a hacer esta práctica juntos. Ok, la adquisición del simple present. Simple present. Ready? I'm ready. We're waiting for Fatima.
Can you get in, Miss Fatima? Okay, there we go.
All right. Let's see the. We're going to finish the exercise. Okay, Mr. Max, he's the winner. Excellent. Second place, Mr. Jose, and Miss Fatima, third position. Okay, let's see the most difficult questions. Okay, it says change interrogative nova advice and feel back for this boy for his boyfriend. ¿Cómo sería la forma pregunta? Nova buys a bag for his boyfriend. Does Nova buy? Does Nova buy a bag for his boyfriend? Okay. All right. Which is the correct sentence here? The correct sentence it is? Jakarta. Jakarta is the biggest city in Indonesia. Uh, identify the sentence. Do Anton play football every afternoon? Which word is incorrect? Play. Do. Uh -huh. It is. Ah, oh, yes. Does. It does. Does Antonio. Does. Yes. <laughs> okay. Identify the sentence. The end. And likes Got banana that. ice cream. Is true or false? False. Likes. False, right? False. Okay. Um, identify this sentence. My sister. My sister and and my father, my father go to cinema every month. Is it true, true or false? True. 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 Okay. Reforms. Do sign and Ariana wash the car together every Saturday. In affirmative. Uh, what is that? Uh -huh. Sign and Ariana, Ariana. They wash, wash the car, car right? Uh -huh. Saturday. Do you love me? Verbal. Verbal. Very good. Okay, good. That's enough. All right. I'm going to start taking the attendance list. Okay, comenzamos. Bueno, Mr. Miss Alicia, she was last way. Let's see, Mr. Rivera Rivera, Miss Fatima. Present. Thank you, Miss. Ooh. All right, Mr. Hector Jeremías, he's in the class. Jonathan Alberto Flores Martinez, he's in the class. Okay, Mr. José Ramón, yes, he is. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Mr. Arnoldo, he's not. Mr. Aquino, he's not here. Mr. Eh, Maximiliano Edgardo, yes, right? I'm here. Yeah, Mr. Roberto, he was in the class. He left. Mr. Samuel. Okay. So let's stop right here the class. Tomorrow we're going to uh, have the last class. Voy a dejar unas preguntas acá en el chat. Si me ayudan estudiándolas. Okay. Vamos a, vamos a eh, tener mañana bastante speaking. Bastante la habilidad del speaking. La vamos a aplicar bastante. Porque va a ser un repaso general de todo el manual. Okay, so okay. let's stop right here and see you next class. God bless you and bye bye. Okay. Bye. bye. Take care.